So this is the, uh, the these are the pearls we want to give to the youth uh, who are not there uh, when Dr. Ahmad Al-Qadi, may Allah bless him with us. Um, he also, one of the things he, uh, he also mentioned is, do not complain about Muslims. And we as Muslims, we, we tend to do this quite often and we complain, oh brother this and brother this and the board this and our community this. But he says, the day that you start complaining about Muslims, you're practically not a Muslim. You're practically not a Muslim. You, you may be in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you believe in the shahada, you do the prayers. But practically speaking, you're not because you've disassociated yourself from the community and the community work uh, and other Muslims. So this was something that he instilled in us as well. He also taught us to stand for injustice, uh, and, and a, an example, and I won't take too much time, I'm sorry. Because uh, my, as you know, my father likes to just, okay. uh, Once again, he taught, he, in Islam, injustice is, uh, is not tolerated whether it's a Muslim or a non-Muslim. Or a physician who is losing his license, uh, or his license has been revoked. When when we arrived uh, to the rally, there, there were all non-Muslims. So was, where are all the Muslims? What what is this rally for? Uh, when he was asked by one of the youth, he said that this is a rally for injustice. It's not a rally for a Muslim person. It's a rally for injustice. Uh, whether this person is of any faith of. Islam, non-Muslim, Christian, Jewish, it's injustice and it needs to be stopped. So these were points that he was, was giving us. Um, obviously everyone knew that for him no goal was too big to achieve. His goals of having a school, a university in this small town, uh, having a community center, uh, having a hospital or a, a, a clinic-based hospital with a surgery center, uh, having research, uh, in a small town, the smallest Panama City, uh, was, was, was uh, I mean, uh, not very many people would have, would have taken that venture and, and start such a thing. So he, he taught us this by example as well. Uh, one of the things that uh, people at the time, a lot of people came to the United States thinking that I'm here for a short time, I will be here until I make X amount of or my kids uh, are 17 and I will take them back home. This is not something that he also, and this is one of the very first things that caught my attention, is the fact that he felt that he was planted on the earth, wherever Allah pleased, uh, and wherever he was is the place where he is to uh, uh, give the message and present his, his goal. So uh, this was one of the things that was important for us, and it was, at the time, a lot of people did not have that vision. Um, in thinking about how to describe Dr. Ahmed al uh, to, to, to finish my speech, uh, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَقُولُ فَقَالَ فَلِيْهُمْ جَلُّمْ صَلَقُ مَا عَهَبُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَدَرْ يَحْرُهُ وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَنْتَظِرْ وَمَا بَدَّلُوا تَبْدِيلًا There are a few men among the believers who have fulfilled the trust that they have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and, and some of those uh, have passed away and some continue on the path of Hanawa Ta'ala holding steadfast without any change in their path. And I, and I believe that this surah uh, or this ayah uh, pretty much manifests uh, my impression of what Dr. Ahmad al-Qadi was to this community. Um, my final words about this leader, visionary, uh, I was honored to know Dr. Ahmad al-Qadi as a, as, a, as a man, as a, as a person. Uh, I feel that only a few in the world will encounter the likes of Dr. Ahmad al uh, I can easily say that as an adult, I still continue to learn from his examples today in my, my daily life with my children. Um, I hope we as a community can learn from the examples that we've presented today. I hope our youth can learn from the examples that we have presented today. Uh, in a nutshell, I, was, I would describe him as a leader, a founder, a cardiovascular surgeon who had the kindness in his heart for all mankind and uh, had a vision of an explorer for the sake of his goal, which is pleasing Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, I will conclude my words. I do have a request and, I, and maybe a request for signing a petition. Uh, and, and as you know, uh, he has told us that anything is possible. I think uh, uh, 
I would make a request to uh, sign a petition to rename Talking Road to Ahmad Al Qadi Way or Ahmad Al Qadi Road. So if that's something that is possible, I would like to initiate. So, so I want to introduce Mr. Ahmad Al Qadi Way. Thank you. Well, most of us, brother Islam, yeah, yeah. His father uh, was uh, at one time uh, our principal here in the school. Uh, he participated in giving khutbas. He was also uh, he appreciated Dr. Dr. Ahmed very much, and he wrote a poem. And I hope you know how to recite the poem because I'll be watching you, brother. So. <laughs> الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. For the non Arabic speaking brothers and sisters, you're going to have to forgive me. You know, one thing that I've tried to do in the past couple of years is whatever my father writes in terms of poetry, I've tried to translate it, but every time I attempt to do so, I do an injustice to the poem itself and to him and to the person that the poem is dedicated to. في رثائي دكتور أحمد القاضي موسى داوود يحيى سلام الله يا أحمد بعود للسماء أحمد فلا قال من طين تشد الروح إذ تصعد لخلد النسمة تسري ولؤيا بعدها تسعد تعاف الأرض للغفلة ومن للوحي ومن للوحي قد أخلد سكبت الدمع في سري وجمع قد أتى يشهد فراقا خلته رؤيا ودعوى حاكها الحسد أحقا أنت في لحد رهين الرمل والجلمد وأنت الصالح الحالي إلى العلياء والسؤدد أنرت الدرب إذ تاهت رؤوس طرفها أرمد وقدت الركبة في عزم جف الراحات والمرقد تنام البر أجيالا علت هاماتها الفرقد بإسلام غدا دربا له المختار قد عبد أحقا أنت في المسرى وقد كنت الذي يقصد فهذا الذاهل الحيران من شيطان قد حشد وذاك السائل الشاكي ففقر الحال قد أقعد وتلكم تبتغي نصحا لفعل في الورى يحمد وهذا الشيخ في وعظ قصورا بالهوى شيد وذاك الخصم في حال يبز السوء إن أزبد وسعت الناس فالأدنى عزيز مثلما الأبعد بقيت, بقيت القدوة القاضي ترد الشوك, ترد الشوك بالعسجد وما أبطأت في مسعى فأنت الرائد المفرد وما آليت عن خير فباب البر لم يوصل وداعا يا أخي أحمد للقيا عند من يعبد سأدعو الله ما غابت شموس والمسى أبرد بأن يجعلك في حال به التكريم لا ينفد وأن يلبسك تيجانا وعفوا دائما بظل في نعيم الله والدار العلا مقعد سلام الله يا أحمد على الأرواح إذ تصعد سلاما من حايا القلب إذ يحدو به المشهد